the cheetah, a creature of unparalleled speed and grace. Across the vast plains of Africa, it reigns supreme as the fastest land animal. Myths and legends surround this majestic cat with stories whispered around campfires passed down through generations. Some African cultures believe the cheetah possesses a mystical connection to the wind. They say it can outrun the very breeze itself. Others view the cheetah as a symbol of power and beauty, its spotted coat a reminder of the starlit night sky. The cheetah story is not just one of speed and legend. It is a testament to the power of adaptation, a story of survival against the odds. This remarkable creature continues to captivate our imaginations, urging us to understand and protect it. The cheetah's body is a marvel of engineering, perfectly designed for speed. Its long, slender limbs and flexible spine allow for incredible acceleration and maneuverability. Every muscle, every bone honed for the chase. Its deep chest houses large lungs, drawing in vast quantities of oxygen. The cheetah's heart, a powerful pump, circulates oxygen-rich blood throughout its body. This enables bursts of speed that leave other animals in the dust. Its tail acts as a rudder, providing stability and balance as it changes direction with lightning speed. The cheetah's claws are semi-retractable, providing extra grip for quick turns and sudden stops. It is a true athlete of the animal kingdom. The cheetah's coat a tapestry of golden brown fur and black spots is more than just a beautiful sight. It provides excellent camouflage in the dappled light of the savanna. When stalking prey, the cheetah becomes nearly invisible. Each spot is unique, like a fingerprint. These markings help to break up the cheetah's outline, making it harder for prey to detect. The spots also help to regulate the cheetah's body temperature reflecting heat during the hottest parts of the day. The cheetah's coat is a testament to the power of natural selection. It is a perfect example of how evolution can produce adaptations that are both beautiful and functional. Kings of the savanna, the cheetah's domain. Cheetahs are found primarily in the grasslands and open woodlands of Africa. These habitats offer the perfect combination of prey, availability and open spaces for high-speed chases. The cheetah is a creature of the open plains. They prefer areas with scattered trees and termite mounds, which provide vantage points for scanning the landscape. From these elevated positions, cheetahs can spot potential prey from great distances. The savanna, with its vast expanse and ever-changing light, is the cheetah's kingdom. It is a harsh and unforgiving environment, but the cheetah has adapted to thrive within its boundaries. A study in contrasts male and female social structures. Cheetah. Social structures are as intriguing as their physical abilities. Male cheetahs often form coalitions, typically consisting of brothers from the same litter. These groups cooperate to defend territories and increase their chances of mating. Female cheetahs, however, lead a more solitary life. They raise their cubs alone, fiercely protecting them from predators. The bonds between a mother cheetah and her cubs are incredibly strong. This stark contrast in social structures highlights the unique challenges faced by male and female cheetahs. Each strategy a testament to their adaptability and resilience. Whispers of the Savannah Cheetah Communication Cheetahs may be solitary creatures, but they possess a complex system of communication. They utilize a variety of vocalizations, from chirps and purrs to hisses and growls, to communicate with each other. Body language is equally important. A flick of the tail, a raised paw, even the scent markings they leave behind all convey information. These subtle cues help cheetahs to avoid conflict, attract mates and maintain their social order. 
Their communication, a symphony of sound and movement, is a testament to their intelligence and social complexity. It is a language whispered across the savannah, understood only by those who listen closely.